Hi there, wig lover. This is Heather from SisterWigs.com, and today I'm bringing you a review of an Ellen Villa wig. This one is called Arrow, and the color on Arrow is Caramel Lighted, also known as 202619. So, yeah, let's talk about the color real quick. Zooming in. Do, do, do. Okay, so this color is kind of like an in between a light golden brown and a blonde. It's made up of three colors mainly. It's got a number 20, which is sort of like a dark golden blonde. It's got a 26, which is sort of a, a butterscotch blonde, but it's got a bit of 27 in there, which is like a caramel brown, which is why it kind of looks like a light golden brown. And then it's also got a 19 in there. Now I don't really see much of the 19 in here, by the way, a 19 is kind of like an ashier color. And in some of the Ellen Villa caramel colors, it actually can make it look more like a sandy blonde than a caramel color. But in this particular version of the color, it has way more of that golden blonde. And so because of that, it does keep it a nice, warm, very pretty color. And it has a really nice sort of light brown root, which I'll show you a little bit more of in just a moment. Um, so yeah, initial impressions of Arrow are generally very positive. I think this one's really, really pretty on. Um, I also, in this particular shoot, reviewed Longing for Long by Raquel Welch. And they, while they have very similar textures and similar lengths, this one is way less hair. <laughs> you know, Longing for Long has a ton of hair on it. So it's gonna be really overwhelming on some people. But this one has a much more natural hair density. It's a lot lighter. Um, this one only weighs 4.75 ounces. So it's it's almost, uh, it's, it's a full ounce or more lighter than the Longing for Long and all of that's from the hair. Um, so yeah, it's, it's just going to be easier for a lot of people to pull this one off compared to that one or something that's got a comparable hair density. Um, also, another thing uh, in, in the favor of this particular wig is that, you know, even though it says it's a petite average cap, I find this one really comfortable on. Now, I wouldn't necessarily advocate this one for people who have an average large head or larger, uh, but I would say that, you know, if you've got an average head, don't be scared of this one. Don't be scared. This one is very comfortable on. Um, and it doesn't feel particularly small to me. So uh, I might even change that on my site. So even though technically it's supposed to be petite average to me, it fits and it feels like it fits like a regular average cap wig. So yeah, let me show you what Arrow looks like all the way around. Um, and in full disclosure, all I've really done to this wig is I ran my fingers through it. That's it. This one is super cute. Super de duper de awesomely cute. <laughs> um, now I do want to point out just a couple things about it that you'll want to be aware of if you decide to buy this one. Um, because I'm giving it like a thumbs up and a half. So almost two thumbs up, but not quite. So here's the reason why. This hair fiber is really dry. And by that, I mean it doesn't have a lot of silicone on it. So it's not gonna be super shiny, which is gonna be great for some of you. But the downside of that is it tangles really easily. Like I've only had it on for a couple minutes and it's already starting to tangle a little bit at the ends. So, and I haven't obviously been wearing it around or anything like that. I've just literally put it on, ran my fingers through it and I was like, oh, 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 you know, I'm catching the little tangles with my fingers. So what you'll want to do if you buy this wig, make sure you get some kind of complimentary uh, leave-in conditioning product. Uh, I, I really like um, Simply Style and Silicone Spray would be a miracle for this one, especially on the ends. Um, or maybe even Renew and Repair by Envy would be really good for this one. But you'll definitely want to get some kind of leave-in product to put particularly on the ends of Arrow. So that way she doesn't become a tangled, ratty mess as you wear her. Because while all long wigs tangle, and all wigs tend to uh, give out a little bit faster because, you know, the, the hair quality just kind of, you know, deteriorates faster on long wigs due to friction than they do on short wigs. You have to replace them a little bit faster. Uh, you want to minimize that as much as possible. So if I can give you a heads up about that, um, then I'm doing you a big service there. So, yeah, let's talk some specs. 
Um, the front on arrow is 14 inches. The crown down is another 14 inches. The sides are 13 inches. So heavily layered here. And the nape is another 13.5. I think this one looks really, really awesome on, by the way. Really natural, right out of the box. Um, and again, this is 4.75 ounces. So in terms of hair density, I would consider this very natural hair density. Now it's gonna be kind of voluminous, particularly at the bottoms, because it's got that weavy texture. So all weavy texture wigs are gonna be a little poofier, especially where that texture is, compared to poker straight wigs. That's just something you gotta kinda of watch out for if you're a little afraid of it being too voluminous. But where you're not gonna get that volume is up here at the top. There's no big bump in the back, no bump it. So that's another thing that's gonna make this one wear very casual chic for most people without it looking too fussy. So I'm gonna go ahead and take Arrow off now so I can show you what the cap construction looks like. By and large, I think this one looks just like the product pictures. I think it looks really super pretty on. And by the way, this color is just dynamite. Like, I don't know if you could tell what was on me, but it's got like little hints of caramel, little hints of ash blonde in the highlight. Um, it's just really, really gorgeous. And then, of course, that, that root is very subtle and beautiful. Beautiful color. Um, so yeah, let me show you. This one happens to be a monofilament side part wig with a hand-tied lace front with a little bit of permatease here on the side, but it's a very minimal amount. It's basically just there to obscure the wefting, and that is essentially it. Then we've got open wefts on the back and the sides. We've also got a really nice extended felt nape and adjustable Velcro here and closed felt here on the ear tabs. Really nice metal on the ear tabs, by the way. They stay in place really well. Um, but again, like I said, be careful with static buildup on this particular wig. Again, you'll wanna make sure you get your, your leave-ins with this one. And I love how, um, when I put this one back on, I'll show you again, how uh, European hairlines do the color in the front. They don't uh, put the rooting right up against the hairline. It makes it a little lighter, makes the knots kind of melt into your forehead. It looks really pretty and sophisticated that way. And since I'm talking about that, let me just go ahead and show you the texture real quick. That beautiful deconstructed curl pattern. It's a wave, very relaxed and then put this one back on for you. Again, it doesn't feel like a petite average wig. Didn't really have to wrestle with it much. Goes right into place. Now see how transparent this particular monofilament side part is? I don't know if you picked up on this at the beginning of the review, but I have a little trick that I employ to kind of obscure where my wig cap ends, and I just kind of pull some hair over it and make the part a little sloppy. But it works like a charm, and that way you don't have to put any makeup on your lace fronts or on your um, uh, mono parts. So, works really well. I mean, if you if you can stomach not having a perfect part, that is, I don't really care, especially on a wig that's boho like this, they're supposed to look a little relaxed. So the, the less than perfect part actually works pretty well. But yeah, what a pretty color. And look, look, look at what I was saying about the rooting not being right up against that front hairline. The knots just kind of melt right in. Beautiful wig, beautiful color. I really, really like this one. Just uh, keep in mind what I said about the dry fiber at the bottom. So this has been the lovely arrow that looks just like the product pictures from Ellen Villa in the color Caramel Lighted. Again, this is uh, 20, 26, 19. It is warmer than some of their other caramel colors. So just kind of keep that in mind as well. Um, some of their other caramel colors tend to be a little bit more of a sandy blonde because they got a little bit more ash mixed in them. This one does not, and it's pretty. I love it. So I'm Heather from sisterwigs.com. That's C-Y-S-T-E-R-W-I-G-S.com. And, uh, have a great afternoon. Look forward to doing another review for you. Bye-bye.